I recently got into a massive argument with my own chat about aliens visiting Earth, which is a crazy war to have fought. You know, it was a bloody battle. I'm sure most of you know, because I've talked about it before, my dad is super into aliens. He firmly believes they've helped us build the pyramids, given us fiber optic internet. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised he hasn't started talking about aliens, how they farted 5G onto our planet or something. Like, he's big into the aliens thing and always has been since I was a kid. So I've been inundated with all kinds of alien stuff ever since I was young. So I have loved the field. But I have never been a believer that aliens have ever visited this planet, ever. I do think there is life outside of our planet, obviously, in the massive, unfathomably huge scope of the universe. I think it's unlikely there's no other life out there. But I don't think it's ever visited us. It would have to have somehow found fast and light travel, wormhole, something, which is so far above our comprehension that if they did actually do it, we wouldn't have even been able to process them visiting us, I imagine. Like, it is just so well beyond us that I just don't think it's happened. So I have been firmly against the idea that aliens have visited us, but I've always been open-minded in wanting it to be true. I would love to be able to fist bump my dad be like, hey, pops, you are right. And here's proof of the aliens having visited us. I did a keg stand with one of them at my frat brother's last party. Like, that'd be great, you know? But I've just never seen any compelling evidence about it. And we got to talking about it on stream, and a couple of chatters were very adamant that I was out of, you know, off my gourd for not believing every single abduction story ever told and every single sighting ever made, including the, the recent Las Vegas one, which was confirmed to just be casino lights reflected in the fucking sky, but they're writing that off as a, it was like a cover-up for aliens. Like, it's outrageous. In order to convert me to their side, to believe and then to persuade me, they would tell like these anecdotes, like, I read this story once on these forums where, you know, this guy's friend Eric was playing basketball in his driveway one evening, and then all of a sudden, everything went white and his memory was erased, but he had his butthole prolapse. Like, the anal prolapse is signs of the aliens having experimented on him. And he lost six hours of memories. He, like, what, like that, how is that proof? I, why am I supposed to take that at face value? But they would drop these things like the, the Eric butthole incident and have me look it up and be like, how can you not believe us? <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're, you're spitting in the face of real proof. So I, I was losing my goddamn mind having this argument with them. And eventually we ended up going to something called like the Aerial School Incident, which is a school in Zimbabwe which claims to have been visited by aliens where 62 school children drew in crayon their encounter with a UFO and aliens who warned them about the future. And I, would, I got called crazy for doubting the legitimacy of it because you have 62 school students that drew very different crayon drawings that don't agree with one another. Some of the drawings have them coming down in a goddamn space potato, others have like this elaborate huge UFO very generic and then the aliens they can't even agree on what they looked like some claim that they had long black hair so literally fucking looking like me coming out of the spaceship some of them drew the aliens bald like very generic alien baldness like none of the kids drawings even like agree with others like it's just it's such weak evidence but they're using it as fact like how could anyone doubt us when this exists so I'm just going to show you some of the clips from the stream because it got heated. And then we opened Pandora's box and started talking about warp drives for some reason. It it it, it got off the rails. It, it got a little crazy. So I just wanted to show some of that. But I want to make it clear. I would love if there was real compelling evidence of aliens having visited us. Like actual encounters with aliens. That'd be great. And there have been government released documents and footage from pilots and shit from unidentified flying aircrafts, this unidentified air phenomenon. But none of it's like aliens per se. It's just we don't fully understand exactly how it works. So it's unidentified as of the moment. It's never definitive proof of aliens being here. It's just we don't have a full explanation on it yet. But it could be. Yeah, it, it could be. And I find that stuff to be pretty interesting. But I don't view that as, hey, here's proof that extraterrestrials are here for some reason. But anyway, let, let me just show you how the stream went. A leading UFO expert has investigated dozens of sightings over an impressive 45-year career and says aliens don't come in peace and have an agenda. <laughs> I wonder what the agenda is. They come down here just to read our dank memes. Shitpost on Twitter. 
I wouldn't say they're peaceful due to the thousands of UFO abductions worldwide. I woke up in my asses sore. Damn you aliens! Not again! I, I've i been a big fan of aliens shit, UFO investigative shit for a long time. I have never once read, watched, or listened to a compelling abduction story that made me be like, this man actually fucking, he got abducted. At no point did I ever once even remotely come close to believing any of the abduction stories. Have you seen that documentary about a guy with nine alien kids? What is that? What are, what are we talking? What? No, I can't say I've seen that. <laughs> what the fuck does that? He has nine kids with extraterrestrials? This man's spreading the humanity seed throughout the cosmos? There were 30 plus kids who saw aliens at their school and drew them. If there is one group that I trust more than anyone, it's kids. They're notorious for not having an imagination and not just going with what everyone else is doing. That's what I would hinge my alien evidence on, is children's drawings. Being in all black, possibly showing medium long black hair. Were the aliens just clones of me or something? What do you mean? The aliens have normal human hair? Oh, well, there's no hair here. One of them was bald, I guess. Maybe he got made fun of on the ship. Not only would the beings have to have somehow discovered faster than light travel to make it here, it would have somehow had to elude everyone else's gaze and have only a couple people, in this case 62 school children, see them. Like the amount of crazy coincidence that must all occur for only a small group to see that is very unlikely. I'm ready to- There is nobody on the planet that wants alien encounters to be real more than me. If this has compelling evidence, I would be elated. I would love that. I want to believe. But it is so unbelievably unlikely and all of the evidence is so shit that it's impossible in good conscience to believe that there are aliens that visit us periodically. The circumstances for such a thing to be true are very, 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 very low possibility. So for multiple days, there have been headlines of UFOs hovering over the skies of Zimbabwe. And the only evidence we have is some children's drawings. Surely that would be major fucking news. And also, why would the aliens just be hovering over Zimbabwe? What, what are they doing there? They're just hovering there, doing nothing. Standing there menacingly like the hash-slinging slasher. What would be the purpose? Why would they have come there? Let's... Let's go... Let's, let's, let's go down this for a minute. So the aliens came here to warn us about the future. And the optimal way of warning us was to go to a small school in Zimbabwe and tell a group of children... That that was the best that was the best way of delivering this warning of the future. They were talking about COVID. <laughs> imagine the imagine this is all very true. The aliens actually did just fucking boot scoot and boogie all the way down to Earth just to land here and be like, "Hey, there's this little thing called COVID. It's hey, just I'm letting you know it's right around the corner. N no good. No good. All right, good luck with that. We're out." We, we've done our job. Message delivered. I don't think they were visited by aliens warning us about the future. Let's play with that for just a moment. Going back to that. Not, not only were they interdimensional, not interdimensional, intergalactic travelers. They're fucking time travelers warning us about our future. That's another crazy technological leap. And if they're that smart, that advanced, why would they tell a group of children at a small school? And also, why would they ever even make direct contact with people? They could just transmit the message. There's millions of cases. So what you've just shown to me is you believe what everyone says. 
You don't believe anyone's making things up. You don't believe in people having, for example, a sleep terror, which a lot of it boils down to uh, sleep paralysis, where they have these very real feelings at night, where they're half asleep, half dreaming, and a lot of it gets chalked up to sleep paralysis. So you don't believe in any of that. You don't believe in mass hysteria, I would imagine, then. You don't believe in manifested group thinking, where if someone believes they saw something, other people mysteriously start to have memories or visions of the same thing. You just take everything at face value. And no one's ever lying. Oh, wow. Jesus, you're having a full meltdown. Anal probing isn't even a real thing, you moron. You get all your UFO info from fucking movies and TV. You get all of your UFO info from fucking TV, too! What do you mean? All of your sightings are on TV. What are you fucking talking about? And then you said reptilians are part of the aliens. And faster than light is an outdated theory. Warp drives are proven. You're misinformed. What are you- What? Are you having a- Are you having an episode of Psychosis? Jack, Sarf Jack Sarfati talks about the technology behind warp drives. Who mentioned fucking warp drives? I don't know why you're harping on that subject. That word had not left my mouth until I read your comment history of your 86 message meltdown. I'm not talking about fucking warp drives. Why do I need to do research on warp drives? That goddamn name didn't leave my mouth. He brought it up. But warp drives are an important part of alien lore. Maybe, but I wasn't talking about fucking warp drives. Jesus Christ. You asked for answers. On what? Warp drive? When did I ask for answers on warp drive? I want alien evidence. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Who am I talking? That is evidence? So... Let's assume every alien has their own warp drive motorcycle. Why are they visiting trailer parks and fucking small schools to warn us about the future than only telling children. That isn't an answer. You weirdo. That chatter didn't read jack shit. It's theoretical physicist, meaning it hasn't been put into effect and there's no way to test any theories. I don't care about warp drives if they're real or not. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ.